Hello everybody, Wing It Like a Boss here. Um, I'm going to do a, I guess you would call it a kind of a tutorial slash review of this server manager. It's really nice. Um, that's all I can really say about it. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it works with just about any, any system, as you can see. Um, it does require Framework 4, it's no big deal. Um, but, you know, features, backups are automatic, which is really nice. You can set the time for run multiple servers with ease. It really is pretty easy. Pick from a list of servers. The download, um, you know, I mean, official Minecraft only for now, though. But, I mean, maybe in the future. I mean, it wasn't, this is uh, January, well, it's actually January 1st. My clock's wrong. But, uh, you know, so, I mean, we're looking at about six weeks. Autocomplete for server command. You know, I mean, it's and much more. There is a lot more. Um, anyways, I will have the download link for this in the description. Um, for this small tutorial here, uh, you can see this, this is all my servers I had, and before I had to open up, you know, for Bungie Cord, open up every single one, all that good jazz. I kind of got out of that now, um, because of multiverse. I don't really piss around with all this other stuff. But, uh, anyways, um, I'll show you. This is, after you download it and install it, this is what it looks like. Um, it's really nice, don't get me wrong, I mean, you'll have to start here, um, we'll just add a new one, just to show you guys, uh, port's always what it is, we'll name this one, uh, just tut, uh, location, you gotta find it, mine's always, mine are all on, uh, my desktop, we'll just, oh wait, what am I doing, oh, uh, wait, Oh, oh, I'm, oh, never mind. I thought I was in something else. Uh, we will go with... We'll go with... Um, creative, why not? Uh, what, okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. I had to... I, had to, I got a little shit brain there for a second. Um, the jar. You gotta, you gotta find the jar file for... Um, this will ask you about downloading a server. No, you as long as you have yours. And then the jar, obviously, jar. I use spigot, you know. Um, this is another thing right here. Uh, you know, this is how you change your how much memory you want to use. We'll just leave it as standard right there. Um, server config. We don't need to worry. Uh, let's just check it out real fast. You can do just about anything in here. Um. You know, you change your name, uh, however you want it, <laughs> all that good stuff. Uh, difficulty, we'll just do peaceful for the heck of it. Survive, you know, survival, creative adventure. Um, all permissions, that's that. Uh, generate structures, allow nether, hardcore, you know, spawn control, build height, max players. Uh, you know, it's really nice. Uh, we'll just do tight for right now. Um, yeah, I really do like this online mode. If you guys have been running a server, you know what this is all about. So that's that. Um, and then here's here's what I like the best right here. Enable server backups. Um, really like this because you can set it to you you put it just put a file pretty much anywhere you want to. It just cannot be inside your server file. I have found that out. It comes up with an error. You have to put the file. All I did was just put it right next to everything else I can't show you right now. Well, let me move the screen. But anyways, um, we don't have to worry about that. But, you know, you, you can change this to whatever you want to. You know, every five minutes, you know, every whatever. For right now, we'll just set it to a couple hours because we don't need the thing. And then you can automatically delete the old backups if you want to. I didn't do that just in case if I ever wanted to go back to... Uh, to something I did before the, you know, I can do that. It doesn't really matter. I one terabyte hard drive. This thing isn't going to fill up any any day soon. So, um, anyways, let me just click. Uh, and that's not good. The backup path cannot be left. Oh, that's that's because of that. Well, anyways, uh, we'll just do that. And then we'll just. Uh, I don't want to start all servers. We'll go to options, and just open and start the server. And then all we got to do is just double click it. I'll show you guys how to get rid of that too. Because that's a bunch of crap. 
you know, it always says that. And some people say if you do actually uh, change that, then you will get. Oh, right there we go. Okay, I gotta make sure I'm should be on the I should be on the correct port for it. Yeah, tut. And here we are. You know, I mean, what what else is there to say? I don't think I can change game mode. Oh yeah, I can. Good. About to say, I should be opt. But I mean, you can see it does work. Um, it works great. I uh, got nothing to complain about. Uh, I really do like the uh, how it looks. You know, the program. You know, it's really nice than just having a uh, command block up there. You know, chat mode. You got chat mode there, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, stop. You if if you have multiple servers running, you can stop them all. You can you know, or if you have multiple, you want to start them all. You can start them all. All that good jazz. Yeah, I mean, I uh, kick all players. God bless you. Um, but that's that really. Um, we'll stop the servers here. Yes, and you can see server closed. Uh, that's not bad. We're getting getting shit done. But um, just for the moment being, I do want to delete that. But I will. Uh, I'll worry about that in a bit. Um. I'll be back in one second. Okay, what I was going to show you guys here is how to get rid of that error message. I have always seen a lot of people saying about it um, between forms, um, even Yahoo messages, all that good stuff. Well, anyways, um, what you what you do here, anyways, is we got to go here, open that. And go to tut. Yes, we want to open that. Um, believe so. If not, it's it's around here somewhere. Sorry, guys. Here it is. You have to go. You have to go to servers. Manage servers. Now I opened up the config file. I don't. You don't want that. Anyways, go right here. And this is all you're gonna do. Just get rid of that don't need that but this is it I will have this in the description now this I have mine set to six gigs you don't have to have your set to six gigs you have it set to whatever your little heart desires but anyways um, that's pretty much that we'll save it and we will confirm we will close that and we will run it oh, no 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 don't want to do that anyways uh, options we'll click uh, open the server I clicked and I did that wrong open and start the server okay there we go now see no more message you can even pause it no more message right there I mean yeah I got a warning but that's not anything that the Java message is now gone how you would do that with just uh, your normal we'll just pick uh, we'll just pick creative here you'll just go to your run uh, your batch file your batch file uh, sorry you want to edit with notepad and just go ahead and delete whatever you got there I just do this space after Java and then there it is that's all you gotta do you know you can always change this too I just left it default just whatever it needed just to get the damn message off some people say it didn't reduce lag um, I haven't I've had experience back on my server but I really can't tell a difference it's not like night and day thing um so it is what it is i guess but anyways uh that's pretty much it like i said i'll have that in the in the description and i will also have the link for this in the description very nice program um i'm running spigot but i don't see why you can't run um bucket and whatever um you can't run forge I'm pretty sure i'm not sure you might be able to i believe you can run forge actually yeah fix some issues with forge I don't know how to do that I don't know if it's the same way don't quote me on it um, so yeah have a good night and thank you for watching I appreciate it like and subscribe for more videos thank you very much